season seven. All right, so Game of Thrones season seven is the seventh season of the really popular, successful show of Game of Game of Thrones. Oh, it's Game of Thrones. This is the uh, seventh season, and this is one of the. This is the season that is a little shorter than the other season. This season has only has seven episodes, but really, time moves by really fast this season. And I mean that literally because they uh, they fast travel like they do in Skyrim. Because it's uh, the travel in the game in the show is astounding. But I'm fine with that because we don't need an episode of Davos and Jon Snow on a boat go like, hmm. So, got any twos? We don't need any of that. We just need, we'll just get straight to the point. That's what I really liked about this season of Game of Thrones. And, I mean, there's so much stuff that happens. Daenerys lands in Westeros and you have Cersei. She's trying to, she's trying to hold off the Dragon Queen. And you have a great. One of, my, one of my first favorite moments of this season was whenever Tyrion lays out this plan to take Castle Rock, take away the power base of the Lannister forces. Well, Jaime does he, the, what Rob Stark did to him in season one. He splits his forces up and takes Highgarden because Highgarden is the, is the true power of Westeros. They have all the money, they have all the grain, they have all the food. So, uh, and then Elena Tyrell goes out like a boss. And peace out to the Queen of Thorns. Then we get in the next episode. We have Feel the Fire Part Two. We have we have Chady meets the Dothraki forces, and we also see him face to face with a freaking dragon, and it was really intense stuff. So. The other things that go on this season is Jon Snow is he's the king of the north, and he goes down south to meet with Daenerys Targaryen because in Dragonstone we found out back in season five that there was a mountain of dragonglass. And dragonglass is one of the only things that can kill White Walkers. So Jon goes to uh, negotiate with Daenerys. Daenerys is, is just a running meme this season was Ben Dunne. <laughs> and Jon's like, I can't do it. I mean, my, I just can't do that to you yet. And we and we get this really great chemistry between Daenerys and Jon Snow. Daenerys and Jon Snow are always two of my favorite Game of Thrones characters. And you also throw in Tyrion there. Those are like my three favorite Game of Thrones characters. And to see characters that we've been seeing on different continents for seasons, it's just such a great. It's just great to see them all together uh, in this season. Like characters like you see Jaime and Daenerys together. I think that was really cool. One of the, the way for Don, Jon Snow to convince Daenerys and Cersei Tanto to come together to fight the, what's the real threat, the real war between the White Walkers, is is to capture a White Walker. So. John Gendry, we bring back Gendry Baratheon, or Gendry, uh, whatever his pastor name is. They head to uh, East Watch by the Sea, team up with Torment and the Brotherhood without banners, and they pull and they go off on a Suicide Squad Magnificent Seven mission to capture a White Walker, and then they're surrounded by freaking White Walkers. And that moment was freaking tense. You just had them all seven are on the frozen way lake. And they catch a White Walker, but a dragon goes down. A dragon goes down. And now he's an ice dragon. I'll get back to that in a minute. And then the final day that happens this season, you have you have the three parties all meet. It was like a Mexican standoff. You had Cersei and the Lannister forces. You had Daenerys and her forces. And you had Jon and the the you had Jon Snow and his forces. They're all meeting and they show off the White Walker. Jamie's terrified, Cersei's terrified, and they're like, okay, this is real. We need to come together. John pledges his loyalty to Cersei. That doesn't really turn out well. And Terry has a, another heartfelt conversation with his sister. And we also find out you know, with a little brand memory that we found out with a brand like his creep. Brand this season was a little creepy. He was just like, Sansa, you look so beautiful in that white dress while you're being raped. <laughs> And it's just, this season was just, it's just, it's a, and we also find out who Jon Snow really is. Last season we found out Jon Snow was not Eddard Stark's son, but we found out that he was the son of Rhaegar Targaryen and Lyanna Stark. And we also found out that Samuel Tarly, he was at O-Town, trained to be a baser. They didn't really turn out too much shit, uh, cleared. But we find out that a that a grand mate or a a high septon had annulled the marriage between Leona between Elia Martell and Rhaegar Targaryen and he had married he had married Rhaegar and Leona which means Jon Snow is an ambassador. Jon Snow is not his real name. He is really John 
Targaryen. And I was just like, yeah! And then there's and then they're all heading off to Winterfell. Cersei's kind of going crazy. She's going to get the Golden Company. Great shout out if you're a book fan like me. And the final thing that happens is we see East Watch. I say I was watching it at home uh, with a friend, and I was like, I just I quote one of my favorite my favorite movie Star Wars. I was like. I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, I do too. And you see the, uh, you hear the horn go off three times. The army of the dead is here. And you have the Night King lift up the Serious Ice Dragon, burning the wall down. The wall goes down. Attention, the wall goes down. The White Walkers are on their way to Westeros. The war is here. And who knows what the hell is going to happen next season. But my god, a lot of stuff happened. I know I jammed a lot of this down. But my god, it's I. this was a hell of a season of Game of Thrones. And I mean, obviously, it's I'm, I don't do scores for TV shows anymore. But if I was going to, I would give this an A+. Plus. But my god, who knows what's going to happen next season. Uh, who's going to end up on the throne? Also, Littlefinger got killed. I forgot to mention that. And there's just so much stuff to talk about. I'll talk a little better more on my podcast this week. But, guys, have you seen Game of Thrones Season 7? What are your thoughts? Comment below, let me know. And are you just as confused as I am? Who's, who, what, who's going to end up? Comment in the section below. Tell me who's going to end up on the throne at the end of the series. Because my original prediction was going to be Littlefinger. I don't see that happening anymore because he's kind of got a throat slit. I was a little sad about that because I'm a huge Peter Baelish fan. All too easy.